higher power is not foolish, right? And this higher power is the power of our consciousness. You cannot pull higher power and higher frequency. It's like you're vibrating fear, but you're claiming to be love, which are two different frequencies. And so when people do this stuff, they usually become a victim of their own ignorance and their own delusion. But that nevertheless, they do try. And so what I've observed that many people try to, you know, copy what I'm saying, even some of them try to take the writings and transmissions. Yeah, you can say the same things. You can try to show that you are someone, you know, evolved and enlightened even. But light will prove you otherwise, because if you're not that frequency, if you are not the emanation of that frequency, you can never copycat that. You can copycat words, text, even put your name under these uh, texts or words, but you can never emanate that, you know? The words may emanate, but you are not, because the, the whole point of being a lineage holder or true guru is that you emanate that, and no one can take it from you. And that higher frequency and emanation protects you. So from whatever other, other people's jealousy, shadows, interferences, or from interferences from the lower realms of the collective, all of that is set in stone, you know? Because that's how, I mean, how do you think even, you know, all these, see the teachings survived until now? It's not, it's not that people, you know, um, are living testimonials or testimonies of these teachings, but, and even if they survived in written, most of the people cannot relate to them because they don't have that high frequency, uh, or, I mean, they don't connect or haven't connected yet with that high frequency within. So when they read these writings of Siddhas or immortals, they can't relate to that because there is no connection unless and until they awaken within to that higher frequency. And so when these people try to copy and say, okay, this is Siddha Kundalini just because it's a fancy word or because this is the Siddha Yoga, or this is Kundalini Yoga, or this or that, it's all nonsense because they are not lineage holders. They have a, a, some man-made certificate or someone patted them on their heads, patted their spiritual narcissism, proclaimed them to be a teacher or a guru. To be a teacher or a guru means to hold an internal disposition internally, to have that internal emanation, right? And so you don't just become because you want or because you paid or because someone, you know, gave you that fake name for the sake of you, you know, trying to achieve something in the material world or because they liked you or because you paid them money. True Siddha lineages and Siddha means perfect, the higher frequency of the collective consciousness, that which is untarnished by the man-made reality. Even those people who try to fake it or portray that they are that, they sooner or later, those who have eyes to see, see, and those who have connected with that higher frequency also realize who is who. So there is no need to make an effort and to waste your energy to you know, try to be someone or something you are not, or it's a copycat, because life will overthrow everything that doesn't have its essence. And that's what happens. Everything perishes when it loses its energetic essence. So this world is like this. You can't fool the world, you can't fool higher consciousness, because once your vital energy, your essence is wasted to the illusion, you can't support your physical vehicle or life and you perish. You just decompose naturally. So this is the way life shows whether you are transitory or immortal, you know? Isn't it? It's a lesson for many people, but many people still hold on to the illusion and refuse to see this fact. And they become the victim of their very delusion their desire, their narcissism. And that's why they perish very fast. So, but see, the lineages are protected, you know? They're protected 
by their own frequency, by that innocence that they emanate, the innocence that has been stripped away from the humanity by the humanity itself, that authenticity. Innocence and virginity means authenticity, the authenticity of one's natural being. So when it is stripped away, when we lose ourselves to the illusion, trying to please the illusion, support the illusion, so how can we find the eternal being or the immortality or realize spiritual essence or not gain any knowledge we cannot we limit ourselves the higher realm is the collective cluster and those who are truly chosen they don't want to be chosen they don't even want to think like that they don't even have such thoughts the choice happens by frequency the chosen ones are the most humble. They, they are emanations of that authenticity, humility, and truth. The truth which is not within the conditionings or frames of man-made reality. It's the universal truth. It can't be tarnished. It can't be darkened. Like the light cannot be darkened. They can spit on truth. They can step on truth, but since it's of nature of light, it always shines through. And that's what copycats don't understand. That's what wannabes don't understand. That's why all these limited beings, despite their age and supposedly wisdom and experience, they lack one simple thing, which is humility, which is surrender. And because of their ego, they spend lifetimes in ignorance, performing spiritual acts, rituals, and deluding themselves and others, and yet reaching nowhere, realizing nothing, stomping around the same spot, evolutionary spot. And those who are fortunate are not those who know the most. They are those who are humble because humility is the sign of high intelligence and spiritual inclination of the soul, the true spiritual inclination to know, but in humility, not for self-proclamation, validation of becoming anything or anyone or something, but for being one with that higher frequency supporting this higher frequency within the collective that's the purpose and that's what is being recognized and chosen by the frick higher frequency is if you're truly like that then you become the vessel of the truth the vessel of the knowledge the vessel of yoga and you don't look at life as achievement attainment, grabbing something, gaining for yourself. No. You look at life as a flow, as giving, sharing, and being. And when this is there, you will definitely know. The truth will find you. You will manifest it from within by cultivating this higher frequency within. And by living this high frequency, by being it, not by faking it or trying to show it to other people. So there's difference. Because when you are that what you are, you are at the emanation and everyone can see it, whether you say it or not, right? Mm -hmm.